Oh, hi, Amy. Hi. Uh, Captain Dunnigan and his wife enjoyed their visit with you. Amy, would you come over and show the folks up these beautiful pictures? What is the organization? Well, this one is from the Nature Conservancy for 2024. Thank you, dear. Okay, if you would come over. All right. All right. And hand me the pics you want me to show. All right, this is the picture for well, the honey, let me of January. Is this a picture? Yes. Okay. Can you fold it in half like this? All right. Let's see if I can do this. Here. All right. Now tell them. I don't think you have to tell them, honey. They can see what it it's is. It's a picture of a bison. Yeah. On a mountainside? No, they can see what the picture is. Just, just let us look at them a minute. Well, that's the one for January. Okay. You like it, folks? Now give us the next one, dear. This is the one for the month of February. Do you like it, folks? Helping others, you enjoy it. Satisfaction. All right, this guaranteed. is for the month of March. Thanks, Amy. It's a picture of a mama sloth and a baby sloth. <laughs> the great love of a mother and child. All right, this is a, for the month of April, or May, sorry, May. Yeah, April was this or March, yeah. This is for the month of April. <laughs> I have a friend named April. Oh, no. I have a woman friend named April. It's a picture of a tree frog on a flower. Do you like it, Amy? Yeah. May, we already did that one. And then June is a pod of dolphins in the ocean. Did you, why did you say we did May? Because we showed them May. It was, it was a picture of a leopard. <laughs> You sure they saw it? Yeah. Okay. Nature Conservancy. Conservancy. You deserve so much credit. And all you photographers deserve so much credit. This is a picture of an American purple gallinule from the Everglades Park in Florida. Molly said to Dolly, what do you think of red china? And Dolly says it's okay if it doesn't clash with the tablecloth. And this is for the month of, yeah, August. Uh, the last one was for July. This is for the month of August. It's a bunch of spotted deer leaping through a field. <laughs> Are they happy? Yes. And the daughter says, Daddy, don't be so harsh on my new boyfriend. He only has one bad habit. And Daddy says, that's right. He's unbearable. This is for the month of September. It's a background picture of a, of a forest, and there's a cliff, and there's a waterfall cascading down the cliff. Mm. <clears throat> you really don't have to tell them, honey. They can see it. No, but I'm telling you what it is. Oh, thank you, Amy. This is an Indian courser family. It's a type of bird. Really? Yep. For the month of October. <laughs> 2024. And another daughter says, Dad, don't be so harsh on my boyfriend. He doesn't have many bad habits. 
And Dad says no, but he makes the most of the ones he has. This is a picture of Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah in the winter. Do you want to go there? That is for November. Do you want to go there and see it? Bryce Canyon? I don't think so. And this is a picture of a short-tailed Arctic weasel for the month of December. And that's it. Well, thank you. Now, they only did 12 months. Yeah. They didn't do uh, the first half of the year this year, the no. last half of this year? No. Okay. And Nature Conservancy, thank you for the work that you do to help the animals. Don't hurt them. Help them. Amy, thanks. You're welcome. Tell the folks what... Is this the article you're going to read them? Yes. Is it face face up? No. It's backwards. Backwards. Like this? There you go. Now they can see it. Thanks. You're welcome. Why does Santa Claus have three gardens? What? Why does Santa Claus have three gardens? Do you know Amy? Three gardens. Um, I don't know. Does it have something to do with mistletoe? <laughs> no. So he can ho, ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> All right. Amy's going to read you our article. All right. This is the advertiser from Ju Thursday, June 15th, 2023. Plant-based veganism continues its triumph over animal cruelty the ruining of body and soul and cancer, with the latest breakthrough, dispensing vegan meat by a food pantry. Abundantly, we have seen sausages, bacon, and hamburger being loaded into bags for the needy. Lenore purchased $94 worth of vegan Swiss steak, tender, tender rounds, hot dogs, hamburger, steaklets, chocolates, et al. to the food pantry. And now they have a shelf of food marked vegan. Currently, Glendora is campaigning to convert Meals on Wheels to vegan options. Progress is steady. Jokes are, years ago, Glendora was mailing her TV show on VHS tape to 78 TV stations, Boston to San Diego. Since it was such a heavy load, she asked a man to help her. It was in the middle of January on a bitter cold day, and this man was not wearing a coat nor a jacket and his sleeves were rolled up, Glendora commented on this, and the man said, I believe in the Second Amendment. I have the right to bear arms. <laughs> Bob says, money talks. Bill says, mine is saying goodbye. <laughs> is your husband active in church? Yes, he wiggles, squirms, and fidgets. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a stream and a brook? What do you get, folks, when you cross a stream and a brook? Wet, Tell them, Amy. Wet feet. That's what you get when you cross a stream and a brook. And that's it. <laughs> oh, it is? Yep. Folks, would you go to the website IMDB? Tell them what that stands for, Amy. International Movie Database. International Movie Database. And Amy, when they get there, what do they do? They type in... Go to the search bar and type in Glendora Folsom Buell. Folsom F. Frank O. L. S. Sam O. Emma Mary Buell B. Boy U. E. L. L. And you and I will be closer than ever before. Uh, what do we have here, Amy? That is the Bible passage and the word. Oh, Amy, tell them the Bible passage. Uh, flip the page over. <laughs> there you go. Um, this, this thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Jesus Christ. And what is the uh, site? What is this chapter? 
What verse? What chapter? It is John 10.10. 10. John 10.10? 10. Yeah. When? 10.10. 10. Uh, and the word, folks, is... Abundance. Yeah. Overflowing fullness. Uh, ample sufficiency. Opulence. Uh, very nice word. And just stop and think of it, what that applies to. Everything that this universe bestows upon us so abundantly. Is there anything on the other side, hon? No. No. Okay. Helping others, you enjoy. Do you have any other papers, honey? Yeah. I'm looking for the paper that tells us. This is the happy happenings. Yes. That's what we're looking for. The so one... the first one says Dunnigan. <laughs> yeah, I would love to tell you about Captain Dunnigan and his wife and how much I enjoyed their visit. Uh, Dunnigan wife is from Canada. She's five foot ten, and she was a volleyball star nationally, all over Canada. And she's got a heart that's bigger than that. She has such a good heart. And her husband, Captain Dunnigan, uh, is a pilot for the American Airlines. And his trip lately has been every Monday he flies to India. It takes 15 hours. They fly at 550 miles an hour at 40,000 feet. And he stays there 24 hours. And then he comes back. And did he tell us how much the fare was? $2,000? I think so. And then what's the next happy happening? Father's Day. Today is Father's Day. And I'm going to give my daddy a pecan pie with a candle in it. And I'm going to talk to him about how compassionate he was. Compassionate for animals. And how much he had to put up with during the Depression, trying to feed four children and pay the rent. How he put up with cancer on the tongue, and they removed a third of his tongue. And the only way they could get rid of radium wouldn't work was to cut out all of the glands all the way down to here. But it did it. He was pronounced cured after five years. And how hard he had to work. And the war came along, and everybody had a defense job. And he had three jobs. Because he'd been so many years groveling, sawing blankets out in the country, selling sunshine hats to wear to protect yourself from the sun and, and candy. He did anything he could to scrape together some money, and he worked so hard. And he put up with an ungrateful daughter. There's about five other things that I respect about him. And I'm going to make believe that we're going to have a meeting at 7 o'clock when Amy goes home. And we're going to talk over his life and his greatness. What else, Amy? A uh, failure for the 1980 Lincoln. A man called up from North Carolina and I said, I love you dearly because you're going to bring me... Uh, trailer and a truck to take my 1980 Lincoln to its new home in Rochester, New York. He says, you're not going to love me. It's not going to happen. These drivers I have think they own the world, and they're not going to happen. That was Friday, the appointed day. Saturday, not a word from either him, his name is David, nor James uh, in Rochester, who is going to give the Lincoln a new life.
Today is Sunday, not a word. I guess I'll just put the ad in the Hemings Motor News again and I'll say $1,000 for somebody who will restore this Lincoln. It runs beautifully, 1980, 300,000 miles on it. It's on its third engine. Well, maybe Beautiful. maybe he'll t he'll get back to you today. We'll never know till later. <laughs> Thank so. you for your optimism. You know, I mean, he does work out of North Carolina, so it's got to be hard for him to find somebody. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> What's the next happy happening? A uh, new holiday. This is a new holiday tomorrow. Amy, what does it celebrate? Juneteenth. The Emancipation Declaration, the Proclamation yeah. Emancipation. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln. The end of slavery. What a terrible thing. Oh, what a terrible thing. But a lot of good things, too. We have to think about good things. Anything else on Happy Happening? Uh, you were alone all day yesterday. Did you ever do that, folks? Were you ever alone all day? Amy had her day off. April had a day off. Uh, I couldn't get a hold of any of my friends. And I was all alone. It was nice, though. I'm really not all alone. I'm with the whole universe, aren't we? And a lot of thinking about the wondrous greatness of the universe. And eight glasses of water for the fourth day is going to be a habit. Anything else, Amy, for happy happenings? Um, no. Oh, okay. Did we cover everything on my page, honey, on my table? Yes. Do you want to sing the people a hymn? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, I do. <clears throat> O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, na, 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 the universe displayed, then sings my soul my Savior God to be, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to be, how great thou art, how great thou art. Isn't it the truth? Anything else, Amy? Thank you for reminding me. Do you want to salute any TV stations? Yeah. You you want to pick one? If you, um, if you don't, I will. You can pick one. <laughs> I'm going to pick Portland, Oregon and Lauren Coulter, a young man of great character and personality and humility and efficiency. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, and kindness and importance. He's putting out public access in Portland, Oregon. We salute you, dear Lauren Coulter. You want me to salute a friend? Like Sure, you can salute a friend. Uh, I think Sandy, don't you? Yeah. Sandy, because Sandy is awfully busy. She's closing up the school year, the Montessori school year, and getting their classroom all ready for the next year. And she and her husband worked from 8.30 yesterday morning to 6 o'clock yesterday evening getting it done. And she's saying goodbye. I would always think that would be a sad time for a teacher and a student. Don't you, Amy? She's saying goodbye to her first graders, second graders, and her third graders. Uh huh. Her third graders she'll never see again, probably. And the first and second graders, oh, they they will be back to be second and third graders. 
But I should think that would be a sad time to say goodbye to him. So we salute you, Sandy, for your generosity of coming here and making sure Glendora had a good meal of rice, parsnips, and Worthington Foods vegan chili. It was delicious. Thank you, Sandy. And I asked Sandy what were the happiest moments of her life, and she was very articulate. And she made me happy telling them to me, her three children, her years as a teacher. She said as a teenager, Amy, she was very depressed with us when she came into the world and learned that there were bad things in the world. Well, did you have an experience like that when you went to high school? When I went to high school, no. <laughs> were you happy in high school? Well, I wasn't happy, but I wasn't miserable either, you know. <laughs> it's school, so I just, you know, went through it and did what I had to do. And, you know, some days were good, other days were bad, you know. You got through it, didn't you? Yeah. How many minutes did we do just We're at now? 21 minutes and 19 seconds. Does that include yesterdays? Uh, yes. Including yesterday, it would be 27 minutes. Yeah, we can do a benediction, honey. Be not conformed to the world. Translated that as be not conformed to selfishness, egotism, and me first. But be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be fervently devoted to goodness. Think only about the goodness. Think only about the goodness. You can say goodbye, Amy. So long, farewell, and Avida Saint. <laughs> <laughs> Arrivederci. Yeah. Hasta luego. Aloha. <laughs> Au revoir. Yeah. Aloha. Yeah, that's a good one. Goodbye, everybody, and may the grace of peace, grace and peace unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.